Hi, my name is Eric with mobilemusthave.com and livinglight.net. Today we're gonna to talk to you about our 12 volt PoE injector. We're super excited to talk to you about this little device. Um, you know, to give you some kind of backstory on PoE, a lot of the PepLink devices that we sell don't have PoE output, but most of the access points are kind of all the access points in the PepLink lineup if you're looking to add additional wireless coverage support being powered over ethernet. So we were like, oh, okay, well then maybe we should just get PoE injectors or PoE switches to provide power to these. The problem with those devices is that they don't run on 12 volts. They almost all require a large sort of AC adapter that down converts them down to 56 volts. So you have to have your inverter running all the time for them to function. That's just power kind of inefficient. You're taking 12 volts from your house batteries you're up converting it through your inverter to 120 volts, and then you're down converting it back to run that switch at DC power again. So this device solves that. So we're gonna show you a little bit about what it can do. Okay, so let's kind of look at this device. And on this side, we've got your standard kind of 12 volt input. This device will take uh, DC power inputs and you can use our standard fused DC power adapter that we sell as an option with this kit. Although we do recommend you pop in like a 10 amp fuse just because this device is gonna put out a little bit more power than our standard three amp fuse that comes with that wire. But you do have the ability to use our ferrule terminal connectors to plug right into this and our fused connector for our standard automotive fuse input. Once you put that 12 volt power in, that's gonna power up this device. You will see 120 volt input over here. That's typically not used in an RV, but it is a secondary input source. So you could plug it in to just a regular AC power and it'll act like any old PoE injector. But for this video, we're gonna focus on the DC power input because that's gonna be the most efficient to keep us from needing an inverter. Once we power that up, that's gonna enable our two ports here. Our data input port is where it's going to receive information from. So this would typically go into the LAN port of your PepLink device. And then this port will pass through that LAN port, but also inject the 48 volts of PoE power to power the access point. So now we can go from pretty much any of our PepLink devices out the LAN port into here and out here to power that access point without needing an inverter. So we're super excited about this and it comes at a sub $100 price point. This little guy has a few more tricks up his sleeve. So you might be wondering what this sort of pigtail here is. And that's a barrel connector that has the same size plug that the input on PepLink devices takes. And this outputs 12 volt power. So if you're gonna mount this near your PepWave device, you can have one single input to your house batteries. You can then power your PepLink with this pigtail. And then you can, in addition to that, output 48 volt power here to internal access points, all from one device. That really cleans up the amount of wires that you need to run and the amount of fuses that you're gonna to need to keep this installation safe. Going even further, this over here is a 24, 24 or up to 48 volt additional DC output. I think they were just figuring, oh, maybe we can get more outputs for our customers. That's pretty interesting. Um, typically for our customers, they don't, we don't have a lot of accessories that run on 12, or I'm sorry, 24 or 48 volts. So that may not be needed, but it is an interesting additional benefit with this little unit. Just wrapping up, this guy does come with your standard kind of 120 volt power input cable there. Um, as I said, you've got your 12 volt input here. And it also has a DIN rail mount here if you're interested in mounting this on a wall using a DIN rail mount system. Uh, it also has the ability on this side to mount the device using standard screws, just a kind of lockdown. Wrapping up, you've got three um, lights here. You've got AC, bat, and charge. Now charge, does, does it have a, is it charging? Does it have a battery? That's typically not gonna be used for most of our customers, but I'll mention what the feature is just so you guys know. Um, AC means that the power is being brought in from the AC power port. Uh, battery would mean that the power is being brought in from the 12 volt connector. Now, if 
you, this is typically not going to be something for our RV customers, but this is a feature for certain solar installations. If you power this device via the 120, it will actually reverse feed or trickle charge out of the input wires to the battery to kind of basically turn this into a bit of like a UPS or a controller where it will power the house batteries or charge the house batteries. Now that's typically not needed in an RV installation because you have your own charger or inverter charger in your setup and these are going to be the only wires you use, meaning they're going to be input wires. So we're not going to use that for most of our installations. We're just going to use that and that will give us all the features to power up our PepWave access points. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can always start up a chat at mobilemusthave.com or email us at info at mobilemusthave.com as well. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the road.